All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wahawa Kachakwadash, with Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rakhakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. And uh, I want to do a quick lesson that's based on this post that the leader of the Sakari group, uh, his name is Al Azar, had made recently. And he's now a spiritual life coach. And all you have to do is pay $500 a month in order to, uh, you know, get direct access to him. Okay? And, um, you know, this man, you know, proves more and more that he's not a man of the Lord. Okay, because look, a man of Yahweh Shemal Shai, you know, he, he's not going to sell you, you know, uh, these gimmicks, okay? He's not going to be, you know, asking for money, you know, to give you advice. And this is something that we, you know, should be doing, you know, uh, 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 freely, okay, as the scriptures uh, uh, say, which I'll pull out in a moment, you know? See this guy, you know he's all about the bag. You know he he has to uh, constantly sell his um, you know his clothing. You know to the people. You know his you know uh, his, his, his uh you know uh, uh, records or albums that he makes. You know he's got to get out all these different podcasts. You know to in order to make money. Be in all these different debates. Probably gets money off of that, you know? He just doesn't teach this word, you know, for what it is. See, you know, guys like this, you know, they, 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 they want to continue to get the money, all right, so they can get the power, you know, the fame, the women. That's all, it, it, that's what it's all about for them, you know? It's not really about pushing forth this gospel. And I'll say this, you know, these guys, you know, at Sakari, you know, they do um, bring out some good information from time to time. You know, they do defend the gospel, okay, on the highways and the byways. You know, even when they have these debates, which, whatever, to me, it's a bunch of folly. But, you know, they, you know, do defend the gospel against these Christians or... He's Egyptologist, whatever, right? But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the, these guys, they do a lot of, you know, ungodly things like this. What's the point of this? What is the point of this? Because my whole thing is, what if an individual, let's just hypothetically speak. Let's say an individual... You know, he, he hears this word. It resonates with the spirit. He, he He's repenting. He's trying to get right. But he doesn't have any money. So if he wants to, you know, talk to you, let's just say he's, uh, cause I believe they're in Atlanta, if, if I'm not mistaken. Or I believe Sakari's in Atlanta, right? Let's say he goes up to the camp. Well, what if he wants to talk to you, uh, 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 Elazar? What if he wants to talk to you, but he doesn't have money? So you're going to de deny him the the uh, uh the access of this knowledge now because he doesn't have, you know, that 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 bread like that. And see what irritates me about guys like this is that they always want that money. But you're preaching to the people who are broken, downtrodden, who are at the bottom. What if that individual is, is literally homeless? You know, you know, uh, 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 hopping from couch to couch, all right? You know, going from, you know, uh, from different shelters. You know, going from one shelter to another. Shelter to shelter, you know? What if that, that individual's in that position? You're going to deny him, you know, this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding? That's wicked, man. This is what the Lord's going to deal with, you know, uh, you and the rest of, uh, uh, of that group, man. 
it, 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 it's ridiculous. It really is. You know? But, you know, somebody's got to be that, uh, you know, that, 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 that false prophet. Okay? You see? But this is uh, Matthew chapter 10 and 5. I'm going to start here. Main point is in 8, though. And this is what Shai told the 12 disciples later turned apostles to do. And I'll say this. We're in that same lot. Okay? In that same spirit. If you're a true man of the Lord, you, you'll be in that same um, mind frame. Okay? As the, uh, uh, um, as the, the uh, disciples. Okay? This is uh, Matthew chapter 10 verse 5. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. And you see, that's what we're supposed to be doing. All right, we're supposed to be a uh, uh, freely giving since we freely receive this word. Because I want to, because uh, here's my thing to Elazar, because you learned this word from the apostles of Great Millstone, and my question to you is: Did the apostles ever charge you any money to learn this word, to learn all these breakdowns that you know? Did the apostles ever, ever charge you? Did, 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 did the men of the Lord who were in councils with you, okay, did, did the other elders, you know, uh, in Great Millstone, did they ever charge you for those uh, uh, councils, those reproofs and rebu bu uh, rebukes that they gave you? Did they ever charge you for that? And you see, you, you already know the answer, and it's going to be no. Those men uh, did it out of love. They did it because that was their responsibility. That's because the Lord told them to do those things. Okay? But see, see, guys like you, hey, hey, uh, um, you don't want to continue, all right, in the things that you've learned. Because, you you know, you're, you're, you're a disobedient child. Okay? The scriptures say in the latter days there's going to be what? Disobedient children. I think that's in the book of Timothy, if I'm not mistaken. You're one of those uh, uh, individuals. You're disobedient to your spiritual fathers, uncles, big brothers. You know what I'm saying? Disobedient. You just don't want to get down with, with the, you know, with, with the correct rules that are in place. You you think that you have a better way, but it's not. And you see, in these latter days. As we get closer to the end of this thing, all this stuff is going to uh, come back and bite you in the ass, man. Okay? It's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Because eventually, look, money's not going to save you, man. And that's the thing where all you, you know, I'm not going to say every camp, but a lot of these uh, uh, Israelite camps, it's all, all about the money. What, what's money going to do? When all hell is breaking loose out here in America. You know what I'm saying? When there's famines out here. When there's, you know, uh, martial law troops. When there's diseases everywhere. Animals on the loose. Gangs of people, you know, killing one another. You know what I'm saying? And my, my thing is, what's, uh, what's the dollar bill going to do, all right, against a thermonuclear missile? See, you guys, you don't want to think like that, you know? You want to stay in the now because it feels good to your flesh. This is why you keep pushing that BS, but eventually, this is all going to come to a halt, man. All these gimmicks and, 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 and you know, different, uh, uh, you know, different ways to, to sell people something, you know? It's going to go at some point. You know? Because America is going to shut down. Scriptures talk about that. It says that how uh, uh, there's going to be no more work for Egypt. 
for the head and the tail. You know? I think that's in the book of Isaiah, the 19th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. You see? So all this stuff, like I said, is gonna you know is gonna get you in the end, man. You know? I want to get this because this is what Yahweh Shai told the Apostle Peter to do. This is uh, John 21 and, uh, and 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than, than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall say unto him, Feed my sheep. Okay? And that's the thing. We're supposed to be feeding the sheep. Okay? We're supposed to be feeding the sheep. And look, they, they, they don't necessarily have to, to give you anything. Okay? This is something that the Lord, you know, commanded us to do. If we love Yahweh Shah, we're supposed to be doing these things. You know? See, you're all messed up, man. Because like I said, really, in the spirit, man, you, you ain't right. You are not right. Okay? You're off. This is why you don't, uh, uh, you know, uh, you didn't want to deal with, with, with GMS, starting with the apostles on down. This is why you left, you know, you wanted to do your own thing. Okay? This is why you don't acknowledge the elders, the apostles, you know, so on and so forth, you see? Because they, you know, a, a, a people re reprove and rebuke you all the time because you, you're just, you, you're just hard, you're hard-headed, man. Just wicked, man. I, I don't care. I've been saying this for a while. You're just wicked, bro. Unless you repent, but I, I just don't see it. This has been going on for years now. We're not talking about, oh, this is a couple months, maybe a year, two years. You know, you, you know, you've been battling, you know, so, you know, some demons on you. You've been doing this for, for, for a very long time now. Probably like seven, eight years. I don't remember. It's been going on for so long. You know? But let me get this. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 1. The elders which are among you... I exhort whom also whom who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Yahweh Shai and a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of Yahweh which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over the most high's heritage. But being examples to the flock. You see, you're supposed to feed the flock. Not for filthy lucre's sake. But you do it. What's wrong with you, man? Like, bro, like, I'm saying, I'll say this. If you're really a man of the Lord and you believe that, Elazar, why do you do these things? This is a, ge a genuine question. Why do you do these things? You're going off, man. There's so many scriptures that, that cut you, bro. Men of the Lord don't do this. This is something. This is something you're supposed to be uh uh uh. That you're supposed to be doing uh uh, uh freely. Why does it always have to be uh uh, uh you know uh 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 uh. uh. You know, a, a bag included. You know what I'm saying? Why does they have to be involved in the situation? It's madness, bro. 
But this is why the Lord is going to deal with you. It's only a matter of time before the Lord starts, a, 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 you know, starts judging these uh, 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 wicked camps as a whole, man. And we're getting, you know, closer and closer to the end. Let's believe it. It, 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 we're going to start seeing this stuff happen right before our eyes, man. You know? Lord's about to start, you know, uh, uh, just, you know, you know, just picking you guys apart. All you, you wicked camps, man. And through the spirit, man, you, you, if you got spiritual eyes, you see it. Lord's really showing the people who, who the real men of the Lord and who aren't. And look, for those who are uh, uh, listening and don't agree with this message, hey, hey they, 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 you, you're, <laughs> there's a scripture talk about hey, uh, uh, the, the, the blind leading the blind. Hey, you're just a blind individual, okay? You, you, you aren't meant to get this, you know? There's going to be more that, that have fallen to the ditch. You know what I'm saying? Then, then, then who, who are going to avoid it? All right, but uh, that's pretty much it. It's just a you know a quick lesson, just something that I saw. wanted to address this uh, a little earlier, but haven't had time. But hopefully whoever was listening was edified. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shemiel Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.